Hey guys, Tim the Toolman Cook back here from All Seasons Maintenance in East Central Alberta, Canada. Welcome back to our channel and it is Wednesday, which you know that means it is time for yet another Tool Time Gear Review. And this has been the month of December and I have been doing indispensable small products that I absolutely love. And if you followed my channel for any length of time, you know that I'm a huge proponent of buy it for life items. And I'm holding a can opener. Are you really going to do a review on can opener, Tim? Absolutely, I'm going to do a review on a can opener because this is a made in America, buy it for life item. So guys, before we dig back into the review, super, super quick, if you go to toolmantim.shop and you do your Amazon shopping there, doesn't cost you anything. You shop just the way you normally shop. Whatever you happen to buy, I will get a small percentage. Uh, and if, you know, if my review gives you value and you would love to take that time to do your Amazon shopping there, literally exactly the same, I will get a small percentage of support in affiliate dollars. So guys, if you get a minute and you want to do that, I would absolutely appreciate it. All right, guys, I am back. We're all set up here and we're going to take a look at the Easy Does It Can Opener and it's Chinese cousin, the swing away can opener, which uh, anyway, there's a little story behind all this and I just wanted to let you know. So, you know, if you're all about being prepared and all about having things on hand for when you need them, then a can opener is indispensable and two can openers is better than one can opener. One of my favorite sayings that my dad always says is it pays to buy quality. I'm sure there's fancier ways to put it, but this was seriously something I struggled with for a long time. It can be hard, especially when times are tight, but in the long run, buying an item for life can be a huge money saver on small items and on large. I think back over all my married years so far and how many times we've had to replace a can opener. How many times I've stood in the kitchen hollering at my wife in the living room, why do we have this damn can opener if it's not going to open a can? So then I'd throw it back in the drawer because it didn't work, or I'd have to push super hard, or it would spin its wheels, and the gears would get stripped, and I would be aggravated, and the next time we'd go to the grocery store, I'd look at a can opener for $20 and think, my God, that's a lot of money for a can opener. I'd pick it up, I'd put it back down, and then I'd buy the $3 can opener again. <laughs> for the record, the only thing that pisses me off worse than a can opener that doesn't work is a shopping cart with one bad wheel that sticks. And you know, when I was writing the script for this video, I thought, I haven't had one of them in a long time. I went to Walmart the other day, and guess what I had? A shopping cart with a sticking wheel. <laughs> anyway, a can opener has one job by virtue of its name. It just needs to open can openers. It just needs to open cans. Just needs to open cans. Just like Odaban, it does one thing, and it needs to do one thing really well. It doesn't have to have seven different attachments, doesn't need a bottle opener, doesn't need handle extenders or Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity. It just needs to open a can with a single pass around the ridge without slipping, spinning, binding, and most importantly, without me swearing. That's it. So if you're looking for a literal bulletproof can opener, then you can't, you can't go wrong with this guy. The only other option that I know of that's pretty much buy it for life is the military P-38 or its bigger brother, the P-51. They work. They work well, but they're not nearly as user-friendly. They have a small handle. If you have any uh, grip strength problems, they can be a problem. They can be a little jagged, but they will absolutely last forever. But if you want as close as you can get to a buy-it-for-life can opener that's fairly easy on the hands, sharp and works and just does it well, the Easy Does It is absolutely the one to go with. So I've probably mentioned on Reddit before, uh, there's an entire community devoted to buy it for life items. And this is where I first found about my uh, darn tough socks. And this is where I looked for a recommendation on can openers. So really cool kind of story. For more than a century, the company Swing Away sold can openers. They were the gold standard. They're made in Cincinnati. They're made well, and they just worked. And you can't go wrong with a made in North America can opener. So... I said, good, that's what I'm going to buy. I am going to buy a Swing Away can opener. So I ordered it from Amazon, and it showed up a few days later. And on the packaging, it said, made in China. I thought, well, that's strange, because it's supposed to be made in America, and it's supposed to be top quality. So I go on the forums, and I realize about two years ago, they had offshored all of their manufacturing, and the quality had decreased. Still good, still based on it, but not as good as what it used to be. So... In steps, this gentleman, I don't have his name with me right now, 
he bought all the original manufacturing equipment, the facility, and reopened the can opener factory in Cincinnati. Made basically an identical to the swing away, and he calls it the Easy Does It. This guy right here. And it is, uh, who knew <laughs> what kind of drama could be involved in the can opener world, but I was intrigued by the story. I thought you guys might like it as well. So that being said, honestly, they're both really good can openers, but you can't go wrong with a North American made with over a century of craftsmanship behind it. The Easy Does It is awesome. So on Amazon, four and a half star review with nearly 7,000 reviews. So they're definitely doing something right. And if I had to bet, I'll bet you that other 0.5 star are just people that would hurt themselves rolling down a car window because I don't see how you could find anything wrong with this can opener whatsoever. It runs around 12 bucks American on Amazon right now, but it trends more towards a $10 range, but it goes up or down a little bit. You know, the whole two is one, one is none thing applies here as well. I remember an old, I don't know if you guys are uh, into the old Twilight Zone, but there was an episode where the guy worked at a bank and he got in trouble for reading books all the time. And there ended up being a nuclear war and he was in the bank vault and he come out and unrealistically he had all the time in the world to read his books and then he dropped his glasses and broke them. That's the same way with a can opener. You can have all the canned food in the world, but if you don't have a can to open it, a can opener to open the cans, then yeah, you know, just good to have. Two is one, one is none, three is a guarantee. Definitely worth it, especially if you can afford it. So if you are absolutely looking for a bulletproof can opener, this guy right here is the one to get. And honestly, there's not much difference. I just wanted to kind of show the comparison side by side. Grab it on Amazon. If you want to support the channel, go to uh, toolmantim.shop. Do your Amazon shopping there like normal. doesn't cost you a thing. And uh, it's one way to show value to our channel and help support us. If you like these reviews and you want to keep seeing them coming, hit the subscribe button. I bring one out every single Wednesday. Keep coming back. And for everybody who supports me, thank you so much. We are onward and upward with this channel and I love it. And as always, guys... I appreciate it and stay happy, stay healthy and have a great week.